Hello everybody. In this Tableau tutorial, we're going to go over how you can create choropleth or geographic heat maps. We have three examples, so let's go ahead and jump right in. The data sets that we're going to use are on our desktop, so let's take a quick look. We have world population, looks like this. And we have the population for the U.S. states. And we have the county population for the state of Indiana. We will be using Tableau Public. So the first thing we want to do is go over here to Microsoft Excel. And let's pull in the world population. Let's double check and make sure our data is categorized correctly. And it looks like it is. There's a globe here for the geographic data. And we can actually see that the geographic role shows country, region. So that looks good. And then, of course, here we have a number format for our population. Now, let's go to our Sheet 1 worksheet. And you can either drag your dimensions over or you can double click them. And if you double click them, it will automatically put them normally where they need to go. So let's go ahead and double click the country. Then we want to go to our population, click and drag that onto the color. And it will automatically create a choropleth or heat map for you. Now if you don't like the colors or you want to change the way this looks, you can double click on the color and then go to edit colors. And then here for the drop down, you can change your colors. And there's a few options you can see. There's several options for the diverging. And then there's a more gradual change of the colors. So let's change it to orange and see what that looks like. We can click apply and OK. So that's one way you could do it. If you go back, and let's change it to the orange blue diverging. And we're going to use the stepped color. And let's make it seven steps and click reversed. Now let's hit apply and OK. OK, so you can see that's just another way that you could change the colors and the way the choropleth slash heat map looks. Now let's say that you wanted to add some labels. One way you could do that, you could add the population labels, click and drag that onto the label. Now that gets a little bit messy. So let's say that you only wanted to see the top 10 countries. To do that, let's take the country and drag it over to the filters, and then go to the top tab, and let's click by field, top 10, population, sum. Let's click apply, and OK. So now it shows only the top 10 countries. Now, if you wanted to view that data, you could go up to Analysis, View Data. And then let's just go ahead and sort it, largest to smallest. So from a quick glance, that looks correct, OK? Now, let's go ahead and move on to our state example. So let's go to File, New, then go to Connect to Data. Microsoft Excel, and let's choose the state's population. Click Open. Once again, double check that your data is categorized correctly. We've got our globe and our number sign. That looks OK. Let's go to Sheet 1. Double click your states. Let's go to Population. Drag that to the color. And we have our heat map. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Let's go ahead and add our labels. So let's take the state and drag that onto label. And you'll notice that not all of the labels are showing up. So one way we can fix that is to click the label and allow labels to overlap. Another thing we can do is to select this text and make the labels a little bit smaller and change the font. 
Let's click Apply and OK. So you'll notice that's a little bit better, but it's still a little bit messy over here with the smaller states. Now, if we want to change the colors, let's go to Colors, Edit Colors, and let's change it to the orange blue diverging again, stepped color, reversed. Click Apply and OK. OK? So we can see that the orange states are the largest by population then gray, then blue. Now if we wanted to increase those steps, we could do that as well. Let's just make that seven. And then you have a little bit more differentiation between the colors. Okay, one more example. Let's go to File, New, Connect to Data, Excel, and counties. Everything regarding our data looks good. Let's go to the worksheet. Let's double click the state and the county. Drag our population to the color. Let's change our colors. Let's use the stepped and the reversed and apply. Let's make it seven steps and click OK. Let's go ahead and drag the county to the labels. Let's allow the labels to overlap. Select the text. Let's make the text a little bit smaller. OK. Now, in a case like this, you might actually want to see the population if you did that. But it might be just a little bit too messy to read. So a, another option might be to make a little table. And if you put this in a presentation, put the table off to the side. Now, one last thing. If you don't want these other states around this state, you can get rid of those. So let's go to Map, Map Layers. And let's go ahead and uncheck all these boxes. OK. So that's it for this Tableau tutorial on how to create Corepleth slash geographic heat maps. We will be doing many more data visualization tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.